Hi, I'm Stuart Kerr and I'm going to talk to you a little bit about the benefits of ultrasound guided injections. So lots of injections can be quite safely performed within the clinic uh, using what are called landmark guidance or blind injections and that's using the skill of the clinician's anatomy to feel where the appropriate area is, mark it up and provide the injection under safe conditions. Ultrasound guidance, however, offers an increased level of accuracy because the needle can be visualised directly throughout the entire injection procedure, ensuring that that uh, injection is delivered to the precise location that it's intended. And there, indeed, there are lots of studies that have shown that ultrasound guidance has exceptionally high levels of accuracy when compared to landmark guided injections. It's not to say that landmark guided injections can't be effective, they can, uh, but ultrasound allows for that improved accuracy, hopefully improved therapeutic benefit. But the other uh, advantages of ultrasound guided injections are that it allows a greater repertoire of injection type procedures, so some things just wouldn't be undertaken using landmark guidance alone. Um, but also ultrasound is a safe imaging modality so some uh, other imaging modalities can be used um, fluoroscopy being one which is essentially a series of x-rays and that does provide the patient with a dose of radiation whereas ultrasound doesn't, it's purely sound waves and it really is like watching a live video feed as we'll see uh, in a moment or two um, so it gives the clinician that real-time feedback as to where they are placing the injection. Um, so this uh, it is a picture of somebody's shoulder and uh, in particular the rotator cuff tendon. So the bright arcing band going across the, the middle of the screen is the rotator cuff tendon but you'll perhaps note that there's a, a region here uh, which is quite bright and then a darker uh, shadow beneath it. And this is actually a calcification within the tendon, a condition sometimes known as rotator cuff calcific tendonitis. And it can be a very painful condition. Sometimes it resolves, sometimes uh, it responds very well to a steroid-based injection. But in cases like this where it's resistant and it's causing people symptoms some four years down the line, uh, an additional procedure known as barbitage can be undertaken under ultrasound guidance. So I just wanted to note the uh, size and shape and structure of this calcification at the moment um, and then we'll fast forward to the, towards the end of the injection procedure. Um, so here you'll see the needle coming in from the side, the bright band, and then there's a little bit of what's called reverberation artifact underneath, so some essentially reflections, multiple reflections of the, the needle. But we can see the top of the needle quite nicely and what we're doing here is essentially trying to break up the calcification using the needle, a technique known as fenestration or dry needling. And in addition, saline is being pumped into that area, so saline being uh, water. and that then allows that fluid to be aspirated or withdrawn back out and in turn pulling some of the broken up calcification with it. So this process is undertaken for a period of time until we feel that uh, sufficient progress has been made and indeed what you can see here is that actually there's very little of that calcification remaining when we compare back to that first procedure. Don't worry, the patient had a good dose of local anaesthetic so they were perfectly comfortable throughout if people were getting uncomfortable, that might be a time to stop as well, but generally it's a very well tolerated procedure. And essentially it's a nice demonstration of uh, an ultrasound guided technique that just wouldn't be taken, uh, undertaken rather without any image guidance. Um, so that and many, many other injections can be undertaken using ultrasound guidance. Uh, so it, in summary, it produces an increased accuracy of injection and it allows an increased scope of injection procedures to be undertaken.